Hi there, guess who's here? Autumn. Autumn is here and that got me to thinking about what I like about the season. Mostly hot chocolate, Halloween, and trench coats. Unfortunately for me, I don't own any trench coats, so I think it's about time I started uh, making one. I've never made a jacket before, so this is my challenge for this month. When I started doing online research on trench coats, I ran across a lot of photos from Burberry and Burberry and some more Burberry. Burberry is obviously the classic trench coat, but I had no idea you can make trench skirts and trench dresses and trench pants. So some of these uh, items I might make in the future. This one at Saks Fifth Avenue, you can purchase for $3,250. Do you know what else you can purchase for that amount of money? 10 sheeps, 100 yards of wool, or this couch from Pottery Barn. I'll explain to you why that Pottery Barn reference is relevant in a bit. I actually purchased four patterns, which I'll go through quickly here. Got the uh, McCall's 8246, the Vogue 8884, 8884, and the Simplicity Mimi A Style 9114. The last one is the one I actually settled on. And the reason is because it's a very easy Vogue. And since this is my first time making a trench coat, this is the pattern I thought would uh, work really well for me. And I've um, actually already created a mock-up. And there's where that uh, Pottery Barn couch comes in. I had this upholstery material. Hang on, let me show you. This is my mock-up in upholstery fabric. Don't click away yet, I swear it gets better, but I just wanted to show you uh, how this pattern looked right away. I obviously did not finish this, I didn't hem it, I, I just wanted to see how the fit looked and if I could actually make the collar and the other parts of a trench coat. This pattern is easy, in fact it's very easy, so thank you Vogue for that. The easiest part for a beginner like me was putting in the collar. Have you ever stared at one of these wondering how the heck it fits together? I have, and I failed miserably on another project I did with the strangest collar instructions I've ever seen. But this one, all you do is you take the collar and you sandwich it between two layers and you sew it all together. The toughest part was getting my machine to sew through that four layers of fabric because this material is so wick. Thick, not wick, thick. So what's up next? The material I'm gonna use for these two projects. I've set aside some material I'd like to try to use for this project, and um, I'd like to show you some of that now. This is a pink satin. Uh, I don't have a lot of it because it, uh, it came in a mystery box. However, I think I have enough to make the shorter version of the trench coat. So now, I've settled on the outside. What am I gonna use for lining or that uh, inside shell that the pattern requires? I have a few ideas for that as well. My first idea is this uh, red satin. I don't have too much of it, so I'm definitely gonna have to combine materials because I'd actually like to uh, extend the facing that the pattern comes with to uh, make it go all the way down the front and the back. So I'm gonna take this uh, satin, and again, I'm, I'm not allowed to use anything else except the fabric I have. That's kind of one of my rules right now. I also have this blue, which comes up a little uh, lighter than it does on camera. This is actually kind of a really cool darker, well, it's not dark, it's like sky blue, but it looks white on film for some reason. So I think, uh, yeah, that's probably all I have. So I think with the pink and the red and the blue, this is gonna make a great color combination. So I'm gonna try to put this one together first. All right. It looks like I have enough of the pink fabric to do view B for sure. And uh, I might even make it a little longer because I do have some extra fabric at the end. But I, I'm very happy with view B. That'll be a good length. Also, with the lining, I have enough to do view B out of the red, which is a lighter satin. 
So I might not need to use the blue, although it still might be fun to play along with contrast, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pink and see how I feel about the red. All right, I cut out uh, the two layers of the fabric, the front and back of the trench coat. The front's gonna look awesome in the pink satin and it will be lined. I had enough to do a full lining of uh, the red satin, except for the sleeves. The back is uh, gonna be the same pink, which is beautiful. I'm so glad I had enough fabric to do this. And uh, I didn't have enough red to line the full thing, so the back is gonna get this uh, blue color for the lining. My next steps are to uh, sew the seams together and to do the collar, which also will be pink right over here. I'll go ahead and do that and show you how it looks before I put on the sleeves. Pink trench coat, almost done. So here's how the lining turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a little sparkly. Uh, this is how the pink trench coat material turned out. I wish I had more of this material because it is awesome and I have no idea what it is. So I can't buy more, but I, I'm loving this so far. I did a, uh, a smaller size than the last trench coat and I think uh, it fits a bit better. Once uh, I close it up, it will have uh, two sets of buttons down the front and of course sleeves and I need to hem it still. But here's where I am so far. I'm looking good. Now that we have sleeves and hemmed, it's time for buttons. Here's my new trench coat. This color, it, it looks so pink in the sunlight. It's, it like radiates pink. I'm gonna uh, put a video at the end so you can see what it looks like outside, but it's uh, really shimmery. It's very awesome, but it doesn't, it looks like raincoat material, but it really isn't. It's uh, maybe a, a bit, but it, it's really comfortable and it's more kind of soft and fabric-y. And I, I still don't know what it is, but if anybody knows, I would love to find out. Um, the pattern, the Very Easy Vogue, turned out very easy. Again, I like um, the button placement. I think that's awesome. I chose black buttons to offset the pink. And also, the collar is very cool. You can stand it up. It's got a good thickness. I did... Um, interface it so it's, it's a bit stiffer. I'm glad I did that. Uh, otherwise, I didn't put any lapels on. I was debating on whether to put those in and I decided not to because I thought that would um, put too much bulk up here. I think once you see it on, you'll see too. I, I don't think it needs any more bulk. I think it's perfect the way it is. The same with the sleeves. I didn't put any um, anything around the sleeves. I like the way they hang. So this project has been awesome, super easy to do, and I love the pink. So go for it, Barbie Gore. All right, um, stay tuned next up. I am going to make a purple skirt out of this purple lace material. See you later. Mm -hmm.